So, after eight years of marriage, becoming 40 years old, having a house, kids, and going through all that, I finally have my own workspace. And it's not just a workspace for sewing or artwork, but also for, you know, chilling and doing video editing and making YouTube videos and also working out. So, would you like to see it? I'd like to see it. Yay, we have a mess. And it's not just a mess because we just moved the stuff in here. Like, it's still becoming a catch-all for things people don't know where to put. Like, they can't put it in the pantry. They walk it to the other than house and stick it in my sewing room. So we do have this mess. And um, yeah, so that will be the art center. Yeah, that's an art easel over there. That TV is going on the wall. This credenza, the reason it's in the middle of the room is because there is storage on each side. There is. So in order to get both storage, I have the art storage on that side, which is a set of drawers. And have a cabinetry on that side near my cutting table and video editing center. And ta-da! We have two sewing machines. So in the white cabinet is an antique 1940s machine that I'm restoring. Right now I'm just having issues with the wiring. And the cabinet for the 1940s sewing machine is a home for my, you know, $100 brother machine we got like many, many years ago. And so and then we have our little table. This was my ironing caddy it's for all my ironing stuff, which is now being moved into the credenza. And I still don't know what I want to use that for. I'm thinking it's going to be a tool station, like I'm going to store all my tools there or something. So, yep, we've got curtains. They're in a package someplace. I think I'd show you myself when I'm a right mess from doing housework. But I just had to show you guys that I finally have a workspace. And I have so many ideas for how to decorate it. I'm getting rid of ugly things like the um, ironing board. That's what that's called. That's called an ironing board. That just doesn't work because, uh, yeah, it just doesn't work right. Um, but it, it served its purpose back whenever we had an apartment and no space. And I had to iron like a dozen white shirts every, every week for my husband. So, yeah. So here's the great cadenza we got for free. And you can see there's a cabinet on the side right here. Cabinet. And there's this place where you put your, I guess, DVD players or whatever. And then on the opposite side is a set of drawers. And we did try to move them, but the way the cabinet's made, it cannot be moved. So instead, we're just going to repurpose the top as a big, giant ironing board, which is going to cost a lot of money. But anyway, beside that, um, we're going to have a nice, beautiful glass table. This is a desk we got for $5 off of Facebook Marketplace. And it served very well as a as a cutting table. I do need to get a cutting mat for it. We're gonna have music, although I can't play it when I'm doing videos, but I'll have music when I'm working by myself. And we have this. The cats have knocked it over so many times that it has finally busted to pieces. And so, well, rip my embroidery station. It's gone. Uh, yeah, this is beautiful. Not gonna sit on it like ever, but. This is the bench that goes with the 1940s sewing machine, and I just stuck a piece of cloth over the top to keep it nice and clean, because it was really ugly. Somebody tried to varnish on top of leather, and then it like ruined the leather. Yeah, that desk is going out of here. It is. It takes up like a huge chunk of the room when it's up. Up. I love the antique desk. Don't get me wrong, but. Yeah, and I've asked them several times to move it to the pantry, even moving it to the other room for me, because, you know, I have a broken back. So I, I moved it out the door and said, here, take this to the pantry, where I can reset it up as a different kind of sewing, setting table for something. And then they did, they walked it right back to the sewing, sewing room. I was like, thanks, guys. <laughs> anyway, we get this giant 32-inch TV all to ourselves for video editing purposes, so I do believe we are going to mount it on that wall over there. And eventually, when I can afford the equipment, we will have all of the camera equipment mounted on the wall around it. Which will be fantabulous, because over here, over these beautiful sewing machines, I plan to put some artwork. And a shelf, probably, with more stuff like books on it. Just for your viewing pleasure. So anyway, this is my sewing, my soon-to-be sewing room. With, uh, soon-to-be cleaned carpet. And yeah! Oh, oh, oh! You want to see the curtains? I found these fantastic curtains, just amazing curtains. And, huh, oh, there they are. 
they're down here. Let's, let's go. Yep, there, there we go. So I got these on the D-Stash group. They are silk curtains for like 30 bucks for the pair. And I was so happy to like splurge because, you know, I've never splurged on anything. But they are absolutely gorgeous. Look at those gorgeous curtains. Oh, we're going to be so happy with them. Back into the box of random thing, random packages of fabric we just picked up for various projects. Can't wait to go through those, process them, put them on bolts, and start those projects. So anyway, our first project probably will not be anything that I can show you because I am going to work, be working with a historical society and recreating some 14th century or 15th century underwear. And uh, yeah, I can't show it to you until the book comes out, so I really can't tell you much more about it. But anyway, um, I do believe we're going to be able to have juice and have space in here to do workouts, especially if we get rid of those um, those totes right there, which are full of more fabric. Um, but don't worry, we just bought this fabric, so we're not just stashing it. Nobody, nobody get all your pennies in a bunch somewhere. Uh, we did just buy that fabric over the last couple months, or about six months for specific projects. This is my previous sewing sash. This is all a bunch of fat quarters. I got at Walmart for like 25 cents a piece for no apparent reason, but I will have fun figuring out what to use them for. Oh, and that's also my yarn stash. That's like all the fabric I've had for like a couple of years, just like that bag. And it wasn't even in that bag, so yeah. Um, yeah, and that's it. I've got to refurbish that lamp because the base broke and then the mini lampshade broke and now it looks like a pile of well, do do. Um, we also need to get a computer, which I think we have a spare computer somewhere. My mom bought me that turnstile. I don't know what to do with it because it's always inconvenient in the way of any project I'm working on, but I'll figure out a purpose. So anyway, yep. Um, we do get this 1940s sewing machine, as I mentioned earlier, but it has several problems and the cabinet's like busted on the inside. I don't even know where that goes. It goes somewhere. Um, so yeah, so we took the sewing machine out of it and popped the sewing machine into this 1950s cabinet. Which, yeah, there's a light bulb. I'm having trouble with the wiring because the wiring is not labeled correctly. So I'm really afraid to plug it in because I'm afraid that I put the wiring module on incorrectly. And, <laughs> and for all the tutorials people are giving me, I'm like, I still don't understand. And I did electrical growing up, but oh well. So anyway, yeah. This is my sewing machine I've been sewing on for like ever. And it's been through so much. And I love purple when I got it. And I still love purple, but the purple's not the purpose in this room. So I'll probably make a cover for this so this it's... Yeah, we don't see this, this purple back here. But yeah. Uh, yeah. So the story is, is my mother-in-law gave me a brother a sewing machine. And I love the pieces out of it, and I was making curtains in our first apartment, which had one bedroom and two kids and, like, three cats. And, yeah, it was, it was a nightmare. Um, and I left it in the bathroom, and our brand-new foster child decided to, in the span of five minutes, completely take the thing apart and swallow a bunch of screws. Yes, that was, that was excellent. So it's, it's actually in the box somewhere. Oh, I put it in the closet. So, yeah, it's in the box somewhere. But so we saved up because we were really broke back then and we saved up and bought me this for hundred dollars and it has been, it has been my baby and I've really put it through the test and yeah, my mommy put that stick on it for me. I don't know why she did that. I'm not a fan of red, but she thought it was pretty. So we left it there. So anyway, this is her, this is her case, but I don't leave it in because it, it, the dip is too far in so like I can't like sew while it's sitting in the case I don't understand um so anyway yes that's where we at and I would show you a picture of myself right now but I like I said earlier or maybe in a previous video that didn't work out I am a right hot mess because I've been cleaning house and doing laundry all day which is normal so I'm not all made up and yeah I don't think I've showered for like two days because uh I've been so busy with yeah chores um we're gonna go with that um but yeah so I am so excited I am so excited and 
I am so excited to save up and get some camera equipment so we can do some YouTube tutorials and stuff. I have so much great content planned for everybody and I just can't wait to get started with you guys and oh yeah there's my wreath. Because I didn't realize how crafty I was. I always thought of myself as not such a crafty person. Oh look I can sew some curtains. Hoo hoo hoo. But then I realized I grew up doing all kinds of stuff. Like I helped with these massive weddings putting together floral arrangements and wedding gowns and table toppers and oh I refurbished for furniture and I'm like I was like oh my adults have realized oh I did a lot of stuff as a kid that I can now use it as an adult oh wow and yeah it's echoey in here uh, we gotta get those curtains up for that um anyway so yeah I made that beautiful wreath let's, let's pan it on that wreath yeah you can't really tell but it's a bunch of dark blue navy flowers and white flowers um, my husband actually picked them all out, so I was just mildly surprised at his taste. He was like, this looks good together. Get these. And I was like, really? He was like, yeah, I want these. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so yeah, so the flowers those came with over there, which he told me to throw away and I didn't, but yeah. So, and pretty, pretty, pretty picture. So yeah, that's our entryway. Hi, entryway. And mail and stuff um yeah that's our office that's where my stuff used to be right there that's the office that's the living room which is a mess because we're um redecorating it so <laughs> this is my summer every single summer we spend the time to redecorate and all that jazz so my my thing is telling me that at 11 45 minutes we are out of time um there's not gonna be much editing done on this video because Frankly, I've never done video editing, so yeah, this is probably my shittiest video. Sorry, YouTube. Anyway, I am so excited. That's why I'm so loud. And also, the only mic I had for this phone was the kind you use to make phone calls with instead of a lapel mic, which I bought and then didn't work. Yeah, thanks, people who sell crappy shit on, on Amazon. Anyway, we do have a lovely outside sort of lovely outside but yeah uh, we're gonna cover it up because we have some very nosy neighbors who will come take pictures in our well by looking in our windows so we like to keep them shut out yeah because it's none of their business even though i'm posting it to youtube also we have some other things so our planned content um will include things like exercise videos of me trying to lose 200 pounds um, which, yeah, I'm, I'm a really big girl. And I have jewelry making planned and ASMR sewing planned for, like, showing how to make stitches, um, embroidery, and historical garments, modern garments, um, home decor items like curtains and stuff, although I bought my curtains, so. <laughs> but I do know how to make curtains, um, and I'm actually making some for a friend, so I'll probably make videos of those when I do them. And I do believe we'll be up next week. I really hope we're up next week. At least with the, you know, cruddy smartphone. And I do have a tripod for the smartphone somewhere in this mess. But, oh, before I forget, yes, yes. The part that everyone will be so overjoyed with. And the reason my room will be nice and clean is that this room has its own walk-in closet. Which, you know, a chandelier we haven't hung yet. But look at all that space. And yeah, more fabric. Those are actually clothes in that bag because I just weeded out like half my clothes stash and decided to repurpose it into fabric. And that's all my mock up fabric right there in the middle bin. Uh, that's my cabbage in the top bin. And I think, oh, that's all my um, synthetic fabric in the bottom bin. And so, yeah, we need to finish organizing this. And oh, there's my brother machine. Yep. So we will be working on this, but that won't be on camera. We're going to be doing it off camera. And I am still trying to decide on artwork for this room. So if any of y'all got ideas, I have these beautiful silver curtains. And I decided that um, I was going to buy this really beautiful fabric that has silver roses on it from a D-Stash group. In order to do things like actually recover this, recover the chair I'm sitting on and make a sewing 
uh, I'm sorry, we're an irony board cover right there. And we'll probably use it to cover this machine and stand. And you can hear my baby scratching over there. She's like, Mommy, Mommy, how dare you go in the other room without me? Mommy, Mommy, what are you doing in there? Yeah. So we have cats and they're like always with me doing everything. And that's why this room is going to be dedicated to all the stuff they can't be into. Because they keep eating it. And sleeping on it. And chewing on it. <laughs> and frustrating me. And sleeping on it when I'm trying to cut it. Yeah, so we do have a dedicated sewing room. Dedicated, keep stuff clean. I am so thrilled. And I am so thrilled to take you on the journey with me as soon as I clean and organize. But we do have a, okay, we do have a, here, here's where I need your guys' help. I have a shelf I'm going to put up here. It's a very, very long shelf. It's possibly about three, three and a half, four feet maybe. And um, it's wood and it's not finished. So what I think I want to do to it is make like a, a runner for it. That's like that same fabric that I got with the roses. And then like put my sewing box and my orchid and like, I don't know, probably my sewing doll or something on the other side of the books and like that be the decor you see but above that I can't decide what to put I would like to stay with the gray theme and I picked out some really beautiful ocean oil paintings to put up there but I'm not sure because of the roses and whatnot and so I couldn't find any really beautiful oil painting rose work, artwork and I really want something that's calming and everybody's gonna enjoy because that's gonna be the backdrop for all of the stuff going on on this side with the filming. <sighs> yeah, the filming, yeah. Um, but that's about it. I mean, we have to hang the curtains and I want to get some sheer curtains for the center so that the light still comes through. And we do need more lighting and keep that off because that's just, oh, that, that, yeah, can't stand it. And it makes a noise. I don't know if the microphone's picking up, but it makes a shh, 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 shh which is so annoying. And the only bad thing about this room is it does get really hot. So when I do work in here, I have to like either do it in the cool of the morning or open a window when it's quiet outside. So that way the air conditioning will actually be sucked out the window and that kind of floods the room with cool air. But otherwise, otherwise look at all the storage. Yeah. So I am so excited you guys and I'm so excited to have you guys with me on this journey. And I really can't wait to see all your comments and see what you'd like me to do next. All right, take care. This is Renee Owens, and um, this is my journey.